Hey Aquarius. Ooh, we got soulmate and deception popping out. But I, I wasn't um, asking for anything. I'm still shuffling. Anyway, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the month of February 2019. I am doing love energies for this month just because it's February and Valentine's Day. <clears throat> so, I'm going to get three cards for Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is general, so if you don't resonate with this. Whew. Aquarius, your energy feels a little like, I don't know, I feel like I want to start swimming. This could be the one. I want to tell you that this has popped out a couple of times while I've been um, uh, shuffling. So I don't know if that's what's making you so nervous because I feel nervous. All right. So this is a general message. So if you don't resonate, check your other signs. But anyway. Separation. All right, let's see. Three three cards for Aquarius. See that you just want to like, yeah, you know, see forgiving and learning and engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So very soon. One more card here for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. I feel very, very nervous, Aquarius. What is going on? And here's the soulmate card again. Heart to heart conversations and stay optimistic about your love life. So, and the forgiving and learning. Okay, so maybe that's why you're so nervous. Because you have something to say. Maybe. I'm hearing an announcement. Um, maybe some of you are actually getting engaged or have recently gotten engaged. Maybe you want to get engaged. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. What's underneath this? Pay attention to the signs. This could be the one. And then chemistry and new love. Yeah, I do feel like there's this element of like somebody like just meeting someone or you've just like realized like, this person is the one that you want to like spend your life with. Like it feels like serious like that. <sighs> As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I do feel like there's a lot of that going on, especially with this person. Like see this guy is like, He's like all snuggled up next to her, holding her hand, like playing with her fingers. He just read her a letter. Maybe he like wrote her something or he's like reading her poetry out of a book. It's like super romantic. And they're just like, they just like blend together. All right, so let's three of cups, and then there's this five of cups. So it goes like with the celebration, but I instant because it's coming under this 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 forgiving and learning card. I feel like um, some of you have just recently gotten out of a three party situation. That's why some of you are still kind of like sulking, you know. Um, you may have like recently had to apologize to someone or you wanted to or you're about to. Let's see. What else can you tell me here for these? Yeah. Two of Wands. This is about making a decision to move forward in action. Um, geez, all these fives, it's like, the five of pentacles is about like feeling left out in the cold, 
maybe that's why you have to, to come back and apologize to this person. Cause I do feel like there's this sense of like an apology going on, you know? And maybe you've left them out in the cold. You may be traveling. You may have to travel to go see this person. You may have to, like this could either, I, for some of you, I feel like this has already happened, but for, and then there's others that I feel like are, are about to embark on a new journey is what I just heard, which I don't talk like that, but that's what I heard. So let's see what else about this heart to heart conversation. Yeah. See, there's, 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 I feel like somebody's coming back. It's with the nine of wands. Like, See, this, this person walked away. He's walking away with three swords and she's leaving with two swords because he's stuck her in the back. Like maybe this guy had a choice, which, which goes back to this three-party situation, right? And it's like he's walking away brokenhearted because he, he's going with the logical choice. Like, see, this is like the two of swords and she feels stabbed in the back because I don't feel like this person... Like, it, I feel like it took this person, like, by total surprise, male or female, however it goes. But that's, like, that's where the whole, like, apology is coming in. <sighs> because the Five of Swords is all about, like, nobody's really winning here. Like, both people are walking away heartbroken. But he's walking away with the Three Swords. So I feel like this person, like... And I mean, I mean, she's like bleeding, like he stabbed her in the back. Like, I, like he may have had even like three other choices besides her. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's a lot to explain, right? That's under the heart to heart conversations. Or you just have been like arguing with this person. Maybe somebody's ready to get married because she is in like this, this wedding wedding gown but like it's like they're like wanting to get married but he's like I don't know leaving or something all right let's see it feels really like heavy here All right, let's, let's, like, I feel like these people are discussing this marriage, you know, and he's walking away, leaving her brokenhearted. He's brokenhearted, and she feels stabbed in the back because, like, the two of swords, it's, what's the two of swords about? It's like a choice. It's about somebody not wanting to make a choice. But I don't really feel like these two people are really talking to each other. But we do have um, stay optimistic about your love life here. So, I do feel like there's a reconciliation coming. Yeah, look, Eight of Pentacles, that's like working, working on it. All right, let's see. Clarify this Five of Swords. All right. Yeah, say this. These both came out. And this Knight of Wands again. Passion reignited is what I just heard. So this is about... feel really stressed out, Aquarius. All right. It's like, I, I don't know. I just feel like this woman is like, she's having all the courage and the strength that, she, you know, to, she's looking at this emperor and, and the emperor is like usually somebody that's like in charge in, in this, I feel like I literally can't talk. Like, that's how, and see, like, this guy is, like, this emperor is, like, wearing a mask. He's, like, I feel like he's, like, pushing down his emotions because sometimes the emperor can be, like, closed off. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't talk. And he's wearing a mask. I don't know.
And even in this picture, like the guy's not looking at her. She wants to have a conversation, but he's not even talking to her. And here he's walking away. And here it's like somebody isn't talking about what's really going on, the truth. I mean, do you see how she's like comforting this lion? It's like she's protecting him, but that's like a lion. You know what I mean? Like, and he's laying there like he's like helpless. I don't know. There's something going on here. It feels. Stressful. That's what it feels like. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, it's like the Knight of Wands is like in and out energy. And see, somebody is like remorseful over here. Maybe for Knight of Wands behavior. Fast communication. I feel like this is this is going to work out. Wait, let's see. What is this three of cups? Please clarify this three of cups. Yeah, see, I feel like there was like some sort of three-party situation, but there is forgiving and learning going on. This is about working. Like somebody's deciding to work on themselves. This, this can represent the celebration because there could be people like engaged or there's a marriage coming up. I definitely see this woman as like in a wedding dress. I've never seen her like that before, but there's definitely like, I feel like there's somebody that's like not talking. That's like not really expressing how they really feel. And it's, um, See, like he has, it's like, he's like always acting like he has somewhere to go. See, it's like, he's looking at his watch, but then he's all, also like pushing down. Like he's like keeping it to himself. It's like, no, like he's going to keep this down and quiet. And he's wearing this mask. Yeah, he, he's like, and she's over here trying to be brave and hang on. But he's like, I got somewhere to be like, I don't, I don't have time to do this right now. She, why this line is, this is the beast within her because she's taming her beast, not acting like a beast. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because that's not easy. Especially if you're dealing with someone as shut down as this, like someone just like not willing to talk because that's what's going on here. This person is like, I feel like he's like avoiding it. And he might present himself like as a man that's like totally together or a woman because, you know, this is general. So. Yeah, somebody might end up walking away or you may have already walked away. But here's the magician. And who's the magician? He's he's a creator. Like someone that wants to create. Because here's here's like this is like the three of pentacles. It's teamwork. But look at this couple here. They aren't working together. Like she's doing the work. He's back here, like. Well, he's doing something, but they're not talking to each other. Neither one of them look happy. Yeah, see, there's like this person. Oh, geez. Let me show you. All right. She's sleeping with a sword. Okay. Like how? And she's got these three other swords over here. The three swords, it's like always makes me think about a broken heart. This person is like sleeping with a sword like ready to fight, like up, not even at her side. Like it's up, like she's guarded.
I feel like something's there is okay. The temperance card is, it can be a Sagittarius. There is like a lot of fire, like, you know, that Knight of wands keeps on coming up. So I don't know if that's like, um, this third energy here, you know, she can represent a Sagittarius as well, but, um, this is also about divine timing and patience, healing, because I do feel like somebody is healing themselves here. All right, so let's see. Let me get, like, working on a partnership. But there's, like... I feel like this woman is like seriously holding back. She's like stand. She's at the top of her mountain. Like she's like owning her mountain. Like see, she has her, her wand. It's it, I'm getting like a lot of like the nine, the nine of wands energy. Like this person is like defending what's hers, you know? And this guy's like, Hey, can we do this in like 10 minutes or whatever? I got somewhere to be. I'll be, I'll be back. Like, It's like kind of heavy and like really, it's just sad. All right, let's see. I'm sorry, Aquarius. Let me get some advice here for Aquarius. Something rising and being assigned for the month of February. Appreciate this moment and love makes the difference. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Be authentic to who you are. And I feel like this is like love can help you heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth and importance, because that's what I feel like this, this, this person who, whomever this person is, because I feel like somebody like seriously got backstabbed. Like this person's walking away broken hearted. Like neither, neither person here is happy about whatever's transpired. And this person's like trying to put on a brave face and like hold up the, the fort or whatever. But she's like learning lessons this is what this is. Love makes a difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Because this isn't, this can't be about this emperor, whoever this is. Whoever this, like this emperor doesn't have time to sit and talk with you. Wearing a mask, like... I don't know. He feels like he's wearing a costume. Like, like he's not really an emperor. Like he, I, I feel like he just like presents himself as like he's somebody, but really he's not. I don't know. There's, I'm just like this costume thing here is like, just looks like a costume to me. It says appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And I feel like this has to do with this and this be authentic to who you are. And okay. Then, then it goes like attracts like and tre tre treasure your loved ones. I feel like there's like some sort of lesson unfolding here for somebody in regards to how they are in their relationship like in how they deal with relationships because this just took like a totally different twist is I, I you know um i do feel there are some people that are um like 
just getting engaged or about to get married or something and they're going to make that kind of announcement. But then there's this other group here that's just like something went down within your relationship and it's like, I'm, I'm hearing like it just got ugly. And it says you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. And it's like, I'm hearing like, don't hold back. And all of these, it's like, there's a woman here, like by herself. None of them, like, she's not coupled with, with anyone. Well, on this one she is, but this is like, it's like her memory. Like back here, it's like, there's a little one. It's like her memory. She's sitting there listening to music, remembering. And then it says, Tre treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. And she's with a child. So it's like, I feel like this has a lot to do with like healing inner child work. And then it's also saying to um, that whole love, like to experience love in the moment and everything. It's like, if you have children, like to, to be with your children and like find the comfort and love within your children, like see that love is like, like this, this isn't love. This, like when you're like sitting there and you've like, it, it looks like she's like fought this battle, you know? I mean, she's over here and he's like, I got to go. Like, I'll be back. Let's do this later. I, I don't know. I'm just getting this like, ugh. All right, let me see what else, what other advice do we have here for Aquarius? Time to move on. Yeah, see, and a new dawn. Because I feel like in order for anything to be fixed, it's like this is it's like this is why they're saying like be true to who you are, be authentic to who you are because I, a woman who can tame a lion like this and conquer a mountain and defend her, her mountain, she, she doesn't put up with a man that doesn't have time to talk to her. And that's what I feel like this be authentic to who you are. It's like, And I feel like something really beautiful. I mean, look, it says a new dawn. And then it says, yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. And you will know what that means to you. And it says it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. And it's just like, see how there's like rough waters and then it's like dark and murky and it's like just get out of this shit i just feel like you're gonna feel so much lighter just to like move on from it like to see the joy around the world like around your world When it's not all focused on trying to get this, this person to talk to you. And I'm not saying like, you got to like leave this guy. I'm just saying like, maybe you just need to like focus on your own life and like, not even like try to get this guy to talk to you. Like, just don't even do it, you know? Cause like, okay, this is like, like attracts like, if you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. And so it's like, that's a, pretty much exactly what I was going to say is like, it's not necessarily you being like having to actually leave, you know, like moving on or whatever. It's like, it's like just accepting that this is where this person is at. Like they aren't able to have a conversation about whatever went down because something went down over here. And, um, find your happiness without them. Like, they, when, when I used to, um, I had this relationship, I was living with my daughter's, uh, 
father, you know, and we just like, didn't get a, like, it just was going downhill fast, you know? And, um, but he used to like, always like start, start, he used to like come home from work and just be a jerk, you know? And, um, I would, I decided I used to like fight with him, you know, we used to have these fights, but I don't want to fight like that. Like, that's not, that's not who I am. I don't want to do like that. So, um, I had a friend that would tell me like to, to practice being the woman that I wanted to be, even though he was acting that way, like let, let him whirl, you know, she'd say, just get the kids and leave. And you don't have to leave in like a hostile way. Just be like, okay, Hey, you know what? I'm going to go and take the kids to the park and we're going to go do this. And, you know, hopefully, you know, you'll have time to like chill out and relax and, you know, whatever. But I stopped allowing him to ruin my day, you know, because that's a decision. That's a choice. That's a choice that I was making when I decided to like argue back or get upset or like, cause even like holding it in, it's, it's not even just like holding it in and not saying anything and not reacting. It's like, um, like really just like ex knowing that him being like this has everything to do with who he is as a person, not me. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's what, um, that's what I feel like this whole like moving on is, it's like, it's you practicing being the woman that, or man that you want to be rather than stooping down to this person's level and allowing it to agitate you or get you like so upset and, or like think less of yourself because, because he isn't acting right or like send you into like a, you know, like I've heard like people like start, I, I've never been like this because I don't like to look for things because I'm afraid of what I would find. You know, I'm just not a nosy person like that. I don't ask people questions like, you know, cause I don't want anybody asking me questions. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, but you know, there's, I've heard of like people that, you know, they, um, you know, I know this one woman, she has like access to like background checks and she like literally checks out every single person that she meets, like goes down deep. And it's like, you know, that's like, just don't, there's, there's no need for that. You know, like if I, I just feel like if you have to do that, you got to ask yourself, like, why, you know what I mean? Like, and is that really like, I don't know if, to, to me that, that just doesn't seem like a way that I would want to live, you know, in a relationship. And, and it's like, so it's like finding your peace and your joy, regardless of how this guy is showing up or woman is showing up. And then like, because it's like, it's a pattern. It's what I found for myself anyway, is that it was, it was a pattern, you know, of me like accepting, it was just, I, I would always like end up getting into relationships where this would be like, what what ended up happening. And um, so I got to practice, you know, with him to be a different way, you know, like I learned to stop fighting with him. I learned to separate my emotions and not get like butt hurt, like, cause it didn't have anything to do with me, you know, why, he would come home and like, just not want to talk, you know, like he was tired from work, but I didn't know that I had been at home with the kids all day and hadn't talked to a human, you know, like a human that was like an adult, you know, and I couldn't wait for him to get home, but he was like done talking for the day, you know? So it was like two different things, but I wasn't thinking about that. And it took like practice to, um, just, understand that, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like something's going on here like that. And so it's like finding who, like finding your own life, like, because what this guy's doing, it isn't anybody's business, but this guy's, whether that's your husband or your boyfriend or whatever. And that's like a really like, tough pill to swallow. I know at least it was for me, you know, because I felt like I had some kind of right. And 
I, I don't like, I don't have any kind of rights over to anybody because the only person I can change is myself. And he's allowed to be whatever kind of man he wants to show up as, you know, and it's my decision whether or not I can accept him as the man that he is or not. You know what I mean? So, whew, that was kind of heavy Aquarius. What the hell? All right. Let's see. Um, let me get one more advice for Aquarius. One more advice for Aquarius here. Whew. Yeah. Look at this one that wants to come out. Break free. I'm taking it because that's, and it's, it's try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Yeah. Like it, it's not about looking at it. Like it's um, something wrong with you or it's like something wrong with a relationship or like the a relationship's going to end. Like, you don't know. It's just like, it's, it's really just healing yourself and like bettering yourself. You know, I don't know for me. Learning to mind my own business was like, it was just like the most, um, it was one of the greatest things I ever did for myself because it freed up my time a lot and um, helped me to fix me because I'm the only one that I have control over. You know what I mean? So anyway, Ooh, Aquarius, but look at this card, miracles and blessings, because that's what happens when you start like keeping the focus on you and seeing there's something here about divine timing and healing that's going on. So it's like, trust God, trust God, clean house, help others. The clean house part for me means fix my side of the street. All right. There you go, Aquarius. I love you. Hang in there tough. And I'll see you next month. Bye.